Hey, welcome back to the Infinite Woman Universe Show. I'm your host, Angela, and today we are going to talk about how to slay that inner voice that is driving you crazy. So if you struggle with that inner voice that you wish that would just shut up, this video is for you. First, before we get into the video, I want to thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. I know that you could be spending your time doing something else or being with someone else, so I just have so much love and gratitude for you. So let's kind of dive right into this topic of this inner voice or what a former client of mine used to call it the shitty committee. And I feel like we can all relate to this committee and I feel like we can all relate to the voice that really drives us crazy. I want to talk about this because this is like, this really causes uh, self-sabotage um, and this actually really keeps us playing small. And if you're a female entrepreneur and you desire to have a soul aligned business, you want to be able to trust yourself fully and completely. But this voice that is probably not even yours to begin with might be keeping you from stepping into unwavering self-trust. So we want to kind of dive into that so that you can get to the bottom of it and so that you can really trust yourself and step into that power and create that magnetic energy so that you trust the downloads that you're receiving, you execute on the ideas that really excite you, and you really just trust your path and trust what you're what you're creating and knowing that your audience is going to come to you and the right people are going to come to you but you can't do any of that if this little voice or voices are absolutely driving you crazy and let's talk about how to deal with them first and foremost the most important thing that you do can do or the two most important things that you can do is number one heal from your trauma and number two is release or unlearn childhood conditioning these are going to be the foundations and the basis of being able to let go of what's keeping these voices stuck in your head or in your body to begin with the truth is is that these were actually imprinted on you these are usually not your voices they are actually voices of your caregivers or people that you essentially cared about or spent a lot of time with in your childhood this is why it is absolutely critical to heal childhood trauma to heal trauma altogether and to let go or unlearn childhood conditioning because this is the basis of it all I know that it might sound crazy. You might think that you might be able to mindset your way out of this, but unfortunately you can't. And you can't mindset your way out of this because this is a safety thing. This is a being present in your body thing. This is making sure that you're balanced. This is all of those things. Yes, mindset plays a huge role, but ultimately this is about creating safety for the things that are going on in your head and the way that you're ultimately feeling and what it is that you're doing about the things that you're going on in your head. If you are not healing your trauma, if you are not unlearning your childhood conditioning, letting go of these voices will be one of the hardest things that you'll ever do. You will experience huge inner conflict and you will seriously drive yourself crazy. It will be great for maybe a day and it will all come falling back to you. So you don't want to do that. This is why the basis is all about healing trauma and unlearning childhood conditioning. If you would like some help with unlearning childhood conditioning, you need some guidance, you need to know how to take this on and you are ready and committed to unlearning childhood conditioning and totally and completely healing from your past, then reach out to me. I am taking one-to-one -one clients and I love to help women heal trauma. This is essentially where your self-sabotage comes from. This is where all of your limiting beliefs come from. This is where your fears come from. And this is where your doubts come from. I know that it sounds crazy. We think that it's always outside of us in our strategy, in our content, in the sales, but it's not. It's all inner work and it's all about creating safety, especially when it comes to being seen and heard. So if you're interested in that, feel free to reach out to me. So let's talk about, we talked about the foundation of, of doing this, right? Of releasing these voices. But let's talk about what you can do. The first 
thing that I want you to know or mistake that you're making or, you know, whatever you want to call it, is that if you're telling yourself to get lost, if you're telling yourself to shut up, um, you know, ignoring yourself, avoiding this, you are actually making things worse and i see online gurus say this kind of shit all the time and it actually drives me crazy and it drives me crazy because you're actually rejecting and abandoning yourself and telling yourself that it's not okay to have these thoughts that it's not okay to feel the way that you feel which is a huge problem it's a huge problem because i can guarantee you most of your life you have not been allowed to fully and completely express yourself without out repercussions and now here you are remanifesting that childhood conditioning that you received right and so now you're doing it to yourself telling yourself that it's not okay to think that way telling yourself that it's not okay to feel these things telling yourself that you're irrational that that's not real that those doubts are just make-believe or whatever fear the f feel the fear and do it anyway you are actually creating abandonment and rejection all over again. So stop telling yourself to get lost. Stop telling yourself that your fears aren't real and stop telling yourself to shut up. This ultimately makes it so much harder for you to deal with that inner voice in your head or voices, depending on where you're at. Telling it to get lost is absolutely the worst thing that you can do and please stop please stop. And if you're an online guru or expert, stop telling people these things. If, and the reason why you need to stop telling people these things is because one of the most critical things that you can do is learn how to hold space for yourself. And actually in my self-sabotage slayer, which is coming out to be released very soon, and if you want to be on the waiting list, just let me know in the comments, I teach you how to hold space for yourself so that you can integrate these parts of you that essentially are looking for your love and attention so that you will stop abandoning and rejecting yourself. Because when you continue to abandon and reject, and reject yourself, it shows up in your work. It shows up in your fear of rejection and not wanting to ask for the sale. It shows up in how big and bold and brave that you show up online in your content or if you play small and really hide so you want to be aware of these things stop telling yourself to shut up stop telling yourself to get lost the most important thing that you can do is get a journal and start leaning in to these pieces or these voices that are trying to essentially keep you safe essentially protect you from what it is that you're doing it might be driving you crazy and i totally 100 percent understand because i've had to deal with these voices over and over and over and over okay i know that it's frustrating i know that they're uh, annoying i know that they're obnoxious i know that they drive you crazy i know that you just want to scream at the top of your lungs to shut up and i i totally 100% get that but the thing is is that when you hold space for yourself and these voices it gets a lot easier to deal with and it gets a lot quieter in your head and that actually creates space so that you can be so that you're more creative so that you save more time and energy so that you can go ahead and put yourself out there or do what really excites you rather than forcing yourself to fit in this little box or the blueprint of your success that everybody supposedly has right when you do this you can essentially burn all the all the rules to the ground all the boxes can go away because you have this unwavering self-trust in yourself and you trust your programs you trust your downloads and what it is that you're putting out and knowing that you're creating the impact that you truly desire in your soul aligned business lean into them get to know them and these journaling questions that i'm going to give you they'll help you lean into them okay absolutely 
So this is this is what you want to do. Okay, stop telling yourself to shut up because it creates abandonment and rejection and start leaning into them. Okay, and it's going to be a practice, just like with everything else. Some days you're going to be really good at it and some days you're going to suck at it. And that's okay. And again, if you want a deeper dive on how to do this and and help that inner voice integrate, which is really possible then let me know below that you're interested in being on the self-sabotage waiting list because I walk you through in deep dive and show you how to do this because these voices essentially create self-sabotage. And if you're an entrepreneur, the last thing that you want to do is experience success and then and then rain on your own parade, right? So these, this will help you slay self-sabotage. This is how you slay those voices in your head that are absolutely driving you crazy. And these are the journaling questions that you can ask yourself so that you can kind of uh, move on. Um, while I have you, if you need a journal or a pen, they're down in the description. But let me give you these journal prompts. Number one. Tap into that inner voice that drives you crazy. What is it saying? What you're going to do is you're going to take your 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 pen and your journal and you're just going to say, you know, this voice that's driving me crazy, come forward. What is it that I need to hear today? And then you're just going to write it all down. Okay, you're going to write it all down without interruption, without judgment, without any of that okay you're just gonna write it all down it might suck okay what they might have to say or what that inner voice might have to say might really be awful but you're learning to hold space for yourself and sometimes that means that you have to let all the ugly out too number two um, what does that inner voice need from you? Okay, you're gonna ask, what do you need from me? What can I give to you? And you're going to execute it on execute on it as soon as possible. Number three, what would you tell that inner voice? And you're going to speak to this inner voice like it's a child that needs your love and attention. Okay, does it need to hear that you that you love it? Does it need to hear that you're going to hold more space or be more gentle or whatever? You're going to know what it is that it's going to say and you need to say to it and you're going to execute it pro execute on it properly because it really does just need your love and attention. It really does just want to know that you're there. It really does just want to feel like you're going to be gentle with it it doesn't need all of this other stuff that has come along with it yet we continue to do that and tell it to shut up because we think that it's the right thing to do and ultimately it's just making things worse all right if you've made it this far let me know that you've made it this far um, let me know if this is resonating with you in the comments. Uh, if I uh, Since you're here, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Um, and this just really helps me expand um, the sisterhood and the community that we're creating here that I am super, super excited about. I love doing these videos for you. If there's anything that you would like to see the universe on, um, just leave, so, leave that in the comments. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if we're actually going to do an activation. I wanted to do an activation, um, but um, Aubrey's dad isn't coming to get her today. So there's a little bit of a conundrum with that. And she's actually asleep, surprisingly. So since she was asleep, I decided I would just do this real fast. So I don't want to like push my luck because I have two other videos that I have to record. Not that I don't love you, but sometimes shit is this way. And so it is what it is, right? So, but make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to be on the self-sabotage slayer waiting list. I don't have that created, but I'll take your email, whatever that, you know, I'll, I'll get in contact with you so I can let you know when that's out. That will be out probably in the next month or so. I'm super excited about that. If you need one-to-one -one time, reach out to me. But in the meantime, I will see you next week and I hope that you have a great week. Make sure you come back and tell me how the inner voice worked. Okay. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye.